what a way to start off MEAC play with the Battle of the Beltline. One of the oldest rivalries in HBCU football, the Howard Bison and the Morgan State Bears are meeting for the 74th time in a nationally televised Friday night game at Green Stadium before over 8,000 spectators. Currently the Bears lead the series, but the Bison have won the last four meetings. The atmosphere was electric. The crowds were partying and the bands were rocking. So were the defenses. As both teams' defenses took turns applying pressure and punishment. Morgan State had apparently broke the ice with a 76-yard touchdown run by Alonzo Grant, but it was negated by a holding penalty. In a penalty-ridden first half, Howard Faraji Woodson hits a 36-yard field goal to put the Bison on top to close the half at 3-0. And after the second half started, Quinton Williams, who threw for 337 yards and two touchdowns, hit Murray over the middle on a short pass, and the Florida native skated 97 yards for a touchdown to push the lead to 10-7. Quentin Williams struck again, connecting with Richie for a nine-yard TD pass, extending the lead to 17-0. After another field goal, with 4:01 left to play in the fourth quarter, Ian Wheeler sealed the deal with a 20-yard touchdown scamper to put the cherry on top of the fifth straight Bison win over the Bears to go 1-0 in MEAC play. Williams is establishing himself as a big dog in the MEAC throwing for over 1,300 yards. Antoine Murray is beginning to shine as a top playmaker. Is this the new culture Coach Scott is trying to create? Well, we will see on homecoming October 23rd versus Norfolk. Game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming.